This time on Rat and Cat, adventure! We've got screwing and gluing and staining and beams and river exploration and slashing and burning and trashing. That's right, it's our river cabin restoration project. I am working on clips for beams in the river cabin. A buddy of my dad's just stopped by and he has a metal bandsaw. That'll save me a bundle of time. been playing phone tag and paperwork tag with the well driller man I hope that comes through here soon I guess I still have plenty to do so it's not that big of a deal but it sure is taking a long time to get that done good news is I'm not going to have to uh, uh, take out a bunch of trees down the one side of the property this uh, driller uh, said that he thinks that he can go down the the north side of the property, which already has the trees removed, and that's what I wanted to go in the first place, but a couple of the other companies suggested the other side because their trucks were so big. But this guy has a, one of the smaller rigs, drilling rigs, so that's awesome that we don't have to take out as many trees. Although I got permission from the neighbor who owns the lot next to us. He lives in Hawaii, and nobody's heard from him for years. Uh, but I sent him a letter, and he actually called me back, and. He gave me permission to take out a few small trees if I need to, or bushes just right on the edge of the property, and, and clean up the, his property out there. There's quite a bit of wood for, that are, is a hazard for uh, the fire season that's coming up here. And so uh, I'm going to try to clean up as much of that as I can. Man, that is like a rock. I mean, it feels hey, like you're hitting the rock. Coming. It's all a pitch wood. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Root down in there. Joke. I'm working on cleaning up this pile of old wood here. And there are a ton of big snakes and, well, big gardener snakes. They're not big snakes. I just saw one slithering by here. I ran into about five of them a few minutes ago.
I'm often a little optimistic about how these things will go. We have the glue lambs in that are supposed to go in between the collar ties right here where the upper floor, the is, there's no support in the middle. Back further in the house, there's a wall, but right here there's no support. It is sagging about an inch. It's probably not that big of a deal, but the engineer's saying that we need to put in these uh, glue lamps. So uh, when we put the one up, it, we had a hard time getting it in there uh, and it didn't quite make it. We got it mostly into place and it's even in the center pretty much. But what we found out is that at either end, it's got an inch long gap because there's about an inch sag where it's been sitting for 40 years. And uh, so, and, and glue lamps, there tend to be an upside and, and a downside. And the upside is usually curved up and we requested that the, uh, well, we told them that the facing side, the side, side that would show would be down. So curve should be up anyhow. We're gonna have to use a jack in order to jack this floor up in order to get these glue lambs in so it, it's matching and not one side sagging and the other's not. So, or the middle's sagging, I guess, and the sides are not. Anyhow, it's turned into quite the chore. We couldn't quite make it the day before. These have been sitting for a couple days in uh, just, uh, just jacked up or supported. And now we've got a hydraulic jack today that we're gonna use to try to lift that all the way up. The other thing we're going to do to make this in, we're, we're pounding on these with a board to, to get it to even go up. But what we've got to do now is, my dad suggested this, which seems obvious, is there's these bolts and so we're going to loosen those a little bit up so it'll be a lot easier to push up in there. And they were, Tyson here, my brother-in-law, was just loosening them and they were just actually hand loose. Hand loose, yeah. Loose enough to loosen by hand. What do you say that? Hand loosenable. Finger loose. Finger loose. <laughs> Sounds like a good movie. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna. He's gonna try to pound him now. To loosen them. So, in loosening these bolts, uh, it's gonna loosen the bottom of this collar tie, uh, but the top will still be tight together because the nails are coming through the floorboards. So hopefully it'll be just enough though to make it fit in there. Go quickly. Is it straight up, Ty? Seriously? Yeah. It's just lifted and locked is all. That's good. That's our two by four. There we go. Come on. Exactly what we needed. Except I don't see it going up over here anymore. Too, right? There's room. I've got half an inch. How much is there at that end? 
quarter of an inch. Eight. It might be a quarter of an inch. Here. Okay, we're, we're, we're going up. We're going up from here. This end. How's that? This is one? in. It's totally down. This is, yeah, that over there is going up. Well, no. There you go. Well, you this side came down. Oh, 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 this side's coming down. To get both in. Okay, perfect. Your side right, up, Tyson? A little, yes. A little more. It is up. A little more. Yeah, okay, now we're there. Oh, that's not... better. Yeah, it's a lot better. That's, that's what we were looking for. Yeah. I think I'm out of juice. I gotta plug in. There's plenty of adventure! That's what I kept on yelling at yesterday with the kids. Adventure! Do these things go like this here? Yes, uh huh. That's gonna look good. That's gonna look tough. Mm hmm. Really tough. This is gonna have to be good. I've got an appointment here in 20, 30 minutes that I have to leave for. And I don't want to leave the hydraulic jack in here overnight just in case it was to swing the leak. Destroy my cabin. Let this thing fall. Probably wouldn't happen. Gail's shaking his head no. So. Well, you got some screws in it in the middle. But I want to get some more screws in it before we leave. Good shape. Good shape. We had to pull this beam down a couple times to adjust it and I used a crowbar, put a little divot here, dinged up the end a little bit, but fortunately this bracket's going to cover all that right up. I'm not going to worry about it. The engineer called for these structural wood screws to be used in these brackets. I don't know if you've ever used these before. This is my first time. Got these little grooves right here and right here. And self drilling, which is awesome. But uh, once I got one in, I tried to adjust it a little bit. The power drill would not get that sucker out. I think with some more work, I could have got it out, but it was in there, it was tough. So uh, if you haven't used these before, uh, word of caution, uh, those grooves really hold it in place.
to roll on this one. Let's see if it works. All right. All right. Well, I am pretty happy with these brackets here. Now the next project is to put this 12 by 16 foot beam up here. It's going to be toenailed across here. I've got to put uh, brackets over the ends here to, for it to rest on. And that's to help reduce the uh, wind shear factor on this window, this wall of windows. It's pretty stable already if I wiggle it. I don't know if you can see that shake just a little bit. I don't think it would ever blow out. That's what they want, so we'll make it happen. I couldn't see myself living on the river here without uh, having a boat, at least a small boat. So I went ahead and fixed up an old rowboat we have. It still has some work to, to do on it, but got the, the engine going again, got it repaired. Uh, and took the kids out on the river and it was just a, a lot of fun exploring what's around here. Some, a lot of little islands and inlets and wildlife, geese you come across and boat just makes, a uh, little boat just makes that all accessible. Someday I'd like to have a bigger boat, but right now this is really great for the summer and what we have going on. Yeah. It's kind of fun. I'm starting to see some of the animals that are hanging out around the property here. There's a big beaver that hangs out down in the waterfront. Uh, uh, watched him swim by the front the other day and a wood duck came and spooked him. Of course there's lots of wood ducks and uh, all kinds of ducks and geese out here, waterfowl. Uh, on the way home the other night I, I spotted about 15 deer and one cow elk. I keep on seeing a cow elk in the same spot. Uh, I, I still have to get her on uh, camera. I've gotten a herd of elk down on the other side of the river on camera, uh, but just a little bit, they were off in the distance. And one of the neighbors spotted a bear at the back side of our property, at the west side of our property, uh, two just a couple days ago. And so I'm hoping I can see uh, that brown bear one of these days. I'm really excited about what we've got done on the river cabin so far. But remember, this is not a vacation home for us. We need to, to live here as soon as possible, get out of our current living situation. And I still have the porch to do, the, most of the interior still with the bathroom and the kitchen, wiring, uh, fixtures, the part of the roof, the venting, uh, this, uh, drainage ditch around the house, French drain. There's a lot to do and folks, winter's coming. So it's gonna be a challenge to, to get that done in time, but I think we can do it. So if you like what you've seen in this video and you wanna see where it all started, you can click on this link here or the home where we lived before, you can click on this link above. And until next time, this is Nakia here on Rat and Cat. Uh, get out there, be safe, enjoy the wild.